dry eye syndrome. Dot, dot. If you currently have dry eye, you'll need to incorporate these strategies. While recommended treatments may include tear stimulating drugs, artificial tears or eye drops to control the inflammation caused by the dry eye, like all other health conditions, prevention is your best medicine. If you currently have dry eye, you'll want to incorporate these strategies while slowly weaning off your current medications with your physician, to reduce your risk for complications. The following strategies may help prevent problems with reduced tear production, or poor quality tears, or help reverse the current pattern. Use them while reducing the environmental factors that increase your dry eye. An acetylcysteine. A derivative of the amino acid L-cysteine, an AC has antioxidant properties, and is widely used to reduce the viscosity of secretions in bronchopulmonary disorders. Ophthalmologists use it to treat corneal abrasions and ulcers, and dry eye. In the long term, you may develop mucus plaques on the corneal surface of your eye with dry eye. An AC can help to dissolve these plaques, and improve the health of your eye. Researchers believe an AC plays a role in protecting the surface of the eye. In animal research, an AC has been shown to suppress the inflammatory response. In a human study comparing NAC with artificial tears, objective findings in the group using NAC were significantly better than those using artificial tears, although there were no significant subjective findings in the patients. The use of NAC increases the production of glutathione, which is the principal antioxidant for your eyes, protecting against oxidative damage. Researchers have found nearly all ophthalmological diseases are linked with low levels of glutathione. Omega-3 your body begins using omega-3 fats, before you're born to help develop your vision. Those benefits continue through adulthood, and omega-3 may be a useful remedy for dry eye. In a study with more than 450 participants, a daily dose of 360 mg eicosapentenoic acid, and 240 mg docosoxenoic acid, helped reduce symptoms of dry eye in people whose condition was aggravated by computer use. At the end of the three-month trial, the individuals taking the omega-3 supplement enjoyed significantly fewer symptoms, and reduced abnormal tear evaporation. In another study, using fish oil and flaxseed oil, nearly 70% were asymptomatic after three months as the supplement appeared to increase tear production. A double-blind study of 38 postmenopausal women, found omega-3 supplementation helped stabilize corneal surface regularity. You can boost your omega-3 by eating foods like wild-caught salmon, sardines and anchovies, or by taking a fish oil supplement. Krill oil is another option. Krill oil has a unique combination of both omega-3 fats and astaxanthin, the latter of which also offers natural protection against ultraviolet light. Astaxanthin Astaxanthin is a carotenoid produced by a form of microalgae. This pigment is used by the algae to protect itself from the environment, when water begins to dry up. It's the carotenoid that gives salmon, shrimp, lobster and crab their pink coloring. The highest concentration is found in the muscle of wild-caught salmon, which biologists believe give the fish the endurance they need to swim long distances upstream. This powerful antioxidant helps to protect your eyes, as it prevents unstable molecules from damaging cells, and boosts your immune system by increasing the number and activity of macrophages, and T-cells. Astaxanthin also protects your eyes against macular degeneration, blindness and cataracts. Light Therapy and Eyelid Massage Using a technique called Intense Pulsed Light Therapy followed by massage of the eyelids, helped 87% of people in a study with severe dry eye to experience reduced symptoms. Vigorous Exercise According to Dr. Reza Dana, professor of ophthalmology at Harvard Medical School, a lot of evidence supports the benefits of rigorous exercise. It fosters blood flow, helps regenerate tissues and, by increasing heat, promotes the release of oils in the eyes. Reduce environmental factors that increase dry eye. There are also environmental factors you can modify that may help reduce situational dry eye, and reduce the influences that may aggravate chronic dry eye. Although simple, the end results may improve your quality of life and reduce your daily discomfort. Tears are spread over your eyes as you blink, so activities that increase the time between blinking may aggravate your symptoms, such as sitting in front of a computer. 
cut back on screen time and take periodic breaks to rest your eyes. Wearing blue blocking glasses in the evenings reduces eye strain and may also help increase your production of melatonin before sleep. Smoking cessation and eliminating exposure to secondhand smoke may help reduce symptoms. Wear watertight goggles when swimming in fresh or salt water. Reduce or eliminate your use of contact lenses. Sit up high on the computer so you are looking down on the screen to minimize exposure of your eye surface. Adjust the airflow from air conditioners and fans so they don't blow directly on your face. Closing your eyes for a couple of minutes or blinking repeatedly may help distribute your basal tear layer more evenly across your eye. 